Hey, welcome back. So a local chef known for his unique twists on classic soul food has a new restaurant in the works and a competition for the top spot behind the bar. So Ruben Dominguez is live at Taste Bar and Kitchen with the story. Good morning. Guys, good morning to you. Yeah, we're right here off of Bagby in Midtown. Chef, thank you for having us this morning. I really appreciate it, man. I've heard a lot of cool things about your place. I'm glad I finally got here. You know. Uh, let's just set it up for folks because okay. they, they've, if they've been through Midtown, they've probably dri driven past this right place and not even know it's here. Absolutely. How old is this house that you've it's that not, houses the restaurant? Over 100 years old. Wow. And it used to be in the Ross Sterling family. Okay. Uh, it actually used to be located across the street. Oh, and they moved and it. When they were trying to get rid of the house, the owner, who was the previous owner before now, he was like, yeah, I'll buy it, but you're going to have to move it over here. So a lot of, yeah. lot of Houston history here a to start lot, with. All right, let's talk about some of the dishes because this is some of the signature mm -hmm. uh, stuff that you're known for. Talk about the first dish right here. So what you have here is our lamb chops and eggs, and what it features is our jerk lamb chops, which are probably one of our number one sellers here. Uh, I swear we probably sell more lamb chops than any restaurant in Houston. Uh, so that features lamb chops, eggs your way, and what you see there. That is our signature biscuit waffle. So that's my biscuit recipe that I cook in the waffle iron. I love it's it. Probably one of the best biscuits you'll have. Let me let me ask you a little bit about that jerk seasoning. Uh -huh. For a lot of people that don't know, you know, it's very traditional in Jamaica. Correct. So has it Correct. got some spice to it? It's it got has, some kick? It, yes, it has a lot of kick to it. But I have some people who come in and say that they don't like spice, they don't like lamb. But they eat these. They eat these? Um, yeah. I think uh, I like lamb and I would eat that. So no problems there. Number two. All right. So shrimp and grits has always been a, a brunch favorite for most. So here we kind of have a, 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 a myriad of different options. What you see here is our what we call our seafood and grits. So you have shrimp, you have lobster meat, you have a fried lobster tail on top, uh, you have bacon all tossed in a Cajun cream sauce. You top that with Parmesan cheese and scallions, and it's probably one of our top seven. Taking it to the next level. Absolutely. I love it. All right. Absolutely. And this one, this looks sweet. So everybody knows us. Sweet and delicious. Chicken and waffles. So here you get a bunch of variations. So what you have there is our General Joe's fried chicken. Uh, we have a pecan praline waffle here and a peach cobbler waffle. So because you can mix and match it. So, and you're, you know, you're a local guy mm -hmm. from Born Third Ward, so you grew up doing, you know, doing soul food, doing, uh, doing these Absolutely. classic dishes. You've obviously elevated it to the, to the next level. So for folks that don't know, mm -hmm. you have to get here early. There are no reservations. Absolutely, yep. There, there's no reservation, but we, we have signed on with Yelp where you can do the waiting online. Like okay, well, that's good. So that helps out a lot. Instead of having Still going to be some people waiting, it, exactly. waiting out in the block. That's always the good sign of a good restaurant. Guys, the artwork and all throughout the restaurant is really cool. The super cool painting there. I, I don't want to uh, leave that out. Mr. D has done so many uh, great pieces around Houston. Mm -hmm. I love the vibe here. Cocktail contest. Talk about it tonight real quick. So what I did was I'm trying to find some of Houston's best co craft cocktail bartenders. So I decided to create the Cocktail Wars. And I'm going to continue to do this to try to bring out talent to put people with the best of the best at this location and a new project I have coming up in the next probably 30 or 40 There years. you go. Well, hopefully you'll be announcing that on Fox 26. So here's the deal. He's going to put me in the kitchen. I'm going to watch the man do shrimp and grits yep. the right way. Exactly. Yeah? All right, man. I appreciate that. Guys, oh, we're at Thank Taste you. Bar and Kitchen. We'll see you in the next hour.